Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to update your PKGJ um, free shop to the latest version on your PS Vita. So what you guys want to do first is just open up Vita Shell, and then once Vita Shell loads, press select and then connect your PS Vita to your PC. Alright guys, so over on your computer, the links will be in the description. Now the first link um, I will put is just the PKGJ file. Um, so what you want to do is just scroll down. If you have never installed this before, I'll leave a link in the description for a complete tutorial. Um, but this video is pretty much just for updating it. So you will also need the NONP DRM plugin. You should have this already. This hasn't been updated in quite a long time. So if you have seen my video on it, then you will already have the latest version. But what we need to do is get the latest version of PKGJ. So we scroll up and just click on releases. Now on releases, version 0.37 was released four days ago, so we are just going to download the VPK for that. Now we're also going to download Auto Plugin. I already have this installed, but if you haven't, you can get the VPK from here. And basically, we're going to use Auto Plugin because it will automatically install all of these, um, you know, files to our config.txt. So this pretty much just saves us having to do it. So now we can head over to our downloads folder and we can find the VPKs that we just downloaded. I just got this one. So we're going to drag and drop that onto our PS Vita, just onto the root of it like that. We can now disconnect our PS Vita from our PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so back on your PS Vita, we now need to install the latest VPK. So we are just going to go onto our UXO or just wherever you put the VPK file. I'm just going to find mine, here it is pkgj.vpk so we're going to press x on it and then press x again to install it then just make sure you have unsafe homebrew enabled in the henkaku settings and press x for yes now it's going to start installing it should install very quick so mine has just finished installing we can now close out of Vita shell so let's just press the ps button and then close that down and we can now find our PKGJ. So what we're going to do is just check it's now the latest version. So go and just hold the bubble. Now just tap on the three dots and just go to information. Here we can find out that our version has been updated to the latest 0.37. Now what we need to do is open up auto plugin because we need to install the latest file. So let's just find auto plugin. I have got it somewhere. Here it is. Let's just start that up. So once we're on auto plugin, this down here is what we want to install. We want to install the latest config file for version 0.37. So just press X on that. Um, and now it's going to say it has been installed. We can now scroll down to exit and we can close out of that. So you can reboot your PS Vita if you want to, but I'm just going to open up PKGJ. So if it says no items, try to refresh, just press triangle to open the menu. Scroll down all the way down to refresh and press X. Now just wait for it to refresh and it's just going to refresh that config.txt and then hopefully display all the games that you guys can download. So as you can see it's now refreshed and everything is displaying. So that is pretty much it for this video so if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.